Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today is going to be another trying to fix video. Another video where I've bought something faulty off eBay and I do my best to fix it with limited skills. So uh, yeah, like always, don't necessarily take these videos as, as advice, just take it more like entertainment because I am not a professional at this and I don't claim to be. So I do this just because I like fixing things and uh, sometimes it's interesting to see how a non-professional goes around, uh, you know, trying to fix things. Okay, so it might be similar to you attempting to repair something yourself. Right, okay, so in here we have two Joy-Cons, faulty Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. Very nicely packed. Right, this is from a business seller who deals in a lot of Nintendo Switch stuff. So I'm not thinking it's going to be an easy fix, but nevertheless it might be an interesting one. Right, okay, uh, I've got a left and a right one, so it would be nice if I could get them working because then it could go with one of my Switch tablets that I'm going to be doing a giveaway pretty soon. Right, okay, and two straps as well. Well, let me show you what I paid for these. We're missing the little cover there, but I think from memory it said that they were faulty anyway. So, uh, feels okay. Okay, there's power on that one. That's a good sign. Right, okay, let me show you what I paid, and then uh, we'll test it and see what is actually wrong with it. Right, okay, so here's the list in here, and it says here, 40 Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons wireless controllers grey. Now, it was up for 39.99 for both of them, but I uh, it was also make an offer, and I offered, I think it was £34, and it was accepted. Okay, so it says here, uh, your offer of £34 was accepted. Yeah, so I paid £34, so that's £17 each, which still sounds a lot of money, but anything to do with the Nintendo Switch is really expensive, so it's not actually too bad, depending on what the fault is. Now, unfortunately, there's very little on the description. It just says, faulty Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons, wireless controllers, side clip and analog broken on both units, selling for spares or repair. So I understand that the analog's broken, but I don't know what is meant by side clip. I mean, I'm assuming it's not these so uh, I don't actually know what is meant by the side clip I thought it might be the button here but that appears to be working and that appears to be working so maybe this whole section here is faulty I don't know I don't know whether they've been opened up before or not or I don't know whether they're just uh, you know got in and then got rid of again straight away but this seller does have a lot of gaming stuff and a lot of Nintendo Switch stuff right okay so uh, let's test it out and see what's what Okay, so it's recognised it there, paired, recognised it there, and paired. Oh, that's working. Ah, look, look, it's going straight down. Now, let's see which one that is on. So let's, uh, let's disconnect this one. Just tap that button. Okay, so it's not this one. So it looks like the analog stick in here is constantly going down. Also, I can see that the covers come off on this one as well. Now I can see it's really bumpy. So this has been removed. It's weird because I've got another Nintendo Switch uh, Joy-Con as well. The video was released a uh, little bit before this one. And that also had this removed. I don't know why people are taking these off because I've never had a problem with these coming off on my Nintendo Switch. The problem is when they come off you never get that smooth look again. You can see there that it's completely smooth so even if you try to line everything up I can't seem to get it can't seem to get it straight unless I'm missing something. Yeah there you go so you can see now if I was to disconnect this one well this is already disconnected so there's no power in this one here but uh, so we already can see what the problem is here it's the analog stick keeps going down what it did a minute ago. Here we go. Yeah, can you see that it's jumping down? Right, okay. So let's go to the system settings. Uh, controllers and sensors. Calibrate control sticks and clicking. Yeah, there you go. You can see it drifting down. So this has got a drift issue. Which, do you know what, I'm really pleased about because people are always asking me about the drift issues and I've never had a Joy-Con that's done it. So I'm really pleased. Obviously, you know, I wouldn't have the time to spend on the Switch like maybe a younger person would do or somebody who was really into it. So uh, maybe that is, I don't know if that's from 
misuse. I don't know whether it's from spilling something in it or whether that just happens over time, but I'm really, honestly, I'm so pleased that that's the fault because now I've got a chance of fixing it. There you go, look at that. So it looks like it can stay in the middle. So if you were to keep it there, then it looks okay. It's just that when you go to move it, so I'm gonna go right now. So that was okay. No, see it's going again. Right, okay. Really looking forward to doing that one. Let me just see what else is wrong with this one. So let's do test input devices, test controller buttons. So that's working, that's working. Yes, 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 yes. That and clicking's working. So this one's purely got the drift issue, hold on. And then let's take it off. Synced up, SR and SL. Now I'm gonna hold it down and see if it uh, syncs like that, which it does. So that says to me, the only thing wrong with this is the analog stick. Let's just try the home button. Yeah, and now let me see if it's charging. Right, okay. Uh, oh, well, it looks like it's full battery. So that says to me that that one is okay. So let's disconnect this one. And now let's see what's wrong with this one here. Right, so this is completely flat, so hopefully it will be okay. You can see that there's a little charge symbol there, so that's good. So let's just see if the analog stick's working. Yes, it is. Do you know what? When they said faulty analog, I wonder did they just mean... I mean, that obviously does have a fault, this one here. But I wonder whether they mean this thing here. Right, okay. Uh, let's go down to... Let's see if it takes a picture. Yeah, hold it down for video. Unable to take video, so that's good. System settings. Controllers and sensors. Calibrate control sticks. That's working. Staying in the middle. Small amounts. Just moving it around, see if it's got the full movement. So it's definitely working as an analog stick. Now let's go all the way around. Right, obviously this is just very quick testing, but that to me seems to be okay. Now let's try the buttons. So go back, back, test input devices, test controller buttons, yes, minus, ZL, that seems fine. Yeah, they're fully responsive. Right, okay, so that appears to be okay. Let me see, there's not going to be enough charge to do this. Oh yes, there is SL, SR. Okay, just enough charge. Okay, so that says to me that it does work there. Let me just see if it syncs. And it does, excellent, okay. And also I have to just try the vibration before that battery runs out. Back, back, uh, there one. Define controllers. Okay, there you go. Vibration works, let's try this one. Right, okay, so I'm going to leave that charge on there. It looks to me as if the only problem is the fact that these little caps have come off on this one here and there's a drift issue with this one here. So, uh, also, let me see what, what's the matter with these things here. Right, okay, so this is my one from the original Nintendo Switch. So very little use. Must have been put on maybe like 20 or 30, maybe 40 times. Right, okay, but if you have a look, it goes on. Nice, it goes right to the bottom, and then if you look, click up, you can hear a little click and, yeah, it opens fully, yeah? And then, I mean, it's not a nice action anyway, but it never has been. Click on, there, and opens fully. So when you open it, it can feel like it goes right the way down. So that's how it should be. Now when I do these ones, let's leave my one to the left, when I do these ones, to begin with, it doesn't click nicely into place. Let me just show you that again. So it seems to slow down and get stiff just before the very end. And then uh, it locked into place fine and it stays on. But then to take it off, it only goes a small bit and then you have to kind of wiggle it down like that. Now that's fully open and you'll be able to remove it. But it's not just happening in one motion. So look, there you go. See that? It goes half and then I have to do it again to get it open. So again, it's not a problem. You can get it to work. Remember, the one does both of them. Now that clicked on nicely, lock it, and then that opened properly that time. Now that's time it didn't go on as nice. 
and again it hasn't opened up as nice you've got to then do it again so that's what's wrong with these ones that went on nice and uh, it works nice but then it only seems to work once now if you look yeah it's only halfway and then you need to wiggle it down and it opens up the rest of the way so it's not a hardship it's not really something that needs repairing because they're very rarely used uh, but I think what I will do is I know inside here there's a little spring and uh, yeah maybe I'll just take it apart just to see you know see if it's misaligned so I think I'll do that to begin with Well, okay, there's nothing really I can do with that. I'm just going to put it back together, try doing the screws up really tight, and then loosen them off a bit, and that's it. And if it doesn't make any difference, I'm not going to waste any more time on it, because as I say, I can pick these up for £1.50, so it's really not worth it. And secondly, I could live with that all day long. It doesn't bother me at all that you have to just do it, that you have to just do it twice. I don't think it's a hardship. See it. Here we go. That's that's locked into place. Unlock it, take it off, put it back on, lock it into place, unlock it. It appears to be working now. Look at that. So maybe this was just slightly bent out of place. I don't know. Or maybe just by using it a bit more, it's now loosened up. I haven't got a clue. Don't really know what would cause that, but it appears to be doing it now. You can hear it's going right the way down. Right, okay, so let's try all of them. So this is my good one. Let's see if I can see the difference. Remember, I'm not here to prove anything, so if it feels different, I will say. Right, that definitely goes on nice. Lock, nice. Unlock, nice. Off, nice. Right, that is a nice... Don't get me wrong, it's not nice, but it definitely feels okay. Right, let's do this one. Definitely doesn't go on as nice. Locks fine. Now it does unlock fine. That's okay. Not as good as that one, but it's still fine. That doesn't go on nice. Locks into place, but it does open up fine. Definitely doesn't click on nice as this one. That just clicks the whole way. Listen, there. Boxing. Right, well, look, they're working as they're supposed to work now. So I'm happy with that. Right, as far as I'm concerned, they are fixed. So I don't have to waste any more time on that. Now I'm going to try to get this onto the, uh, the one here. I'm not sure if they're supposed to have any glue on now. I've never taken this one off here. And I don't want to take it off, but let's just see if they're supposed to have glue on or not. I'm not sure if, this, if they're glued or not in the middle. I don't know whether they're glued or whether it's... I'm just examining this one under the light. I'm not sure if they're glued or whether it's just the fact that they're held in all the way around the edge that's keeping it in. It feels to me as if it's very tight in the middle. No. Do you know what? They're not glued. Yeah, now you can see on this one, if you look closely here, you can see I've now got a little lump. 
Right, so let's see if I can get rid of it when there's just one, and then that will give me a clue as to whether I can fix the others. Let me unsync it, there we go. Yeah, I can definitely feel the knobbly bit now, and it's coming off really easy there. Right, let me get some very small tweezers and see if I can put them in the hole. And if I can, that means there might be a chance I can get those other lids, other covers back on. Okay, so you have to get them perfect. If you have a look now, can you see it's gone in? So I'm going to try to do that with this one, but it's going to be unlikely because I've got so many, so many to do. But if I can do the middle ones, maybe if I can turn it upside down, let's take this off at the moment. If I can do the middle ones, then I might be able to do the rest by kind of having it inside out. Getting there, definitely getting there. It's starting to look a little, a little bit better. They're all definitely in their holes now. Not sure about the middle ones because I can't see them, but uh, the ones on the edges are all definitely in their holes. Yeah, and it's not twisting as easy now. Look at that. Can you see? I don't want to use the art. It's starting to feel more like that. It is, definitely. And you can see, if you have a look now, can you see you haven't got that kind of... You can still see where they are, but it's not like it was before. You know, there wasn't like that... You know, that asterisk looking thing. Right, okay, do you know what? I'm going to leave that like that for the moment and uh, I am going to work on this one here because this was the one that's got the stick drift. So just to show you, quite badly. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Uh, what am I going to do here now? I think first things first... I think I'm going to use some compressed air and I'm going to blow it right into here. You see into the workings of it, just to see if that's going to fr uh, free it up and it feels fine. And then I'm going to, if that doesn't work, I'm going to soak it in, uh, I'm going to pour some alcohol into it and see if that frees it up. Right, so I've got a little can of uh, air here. Let's go right in there, just in case this debris, you can see I've gone underneath that little dust cover there. Just in case there's dirt that's got stuck in there. Let's go to the other side. Well, I'm sure that hasn't made a difference, but let's see. Yeah, there we go. It's no better. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's put some alcohol into it. I uh, rub it with alcohol because I was going to just. I've got like 99.9% .9 alcohol. I was going to rub it all the way around here, but I bought this age gun. I've never used it, and I've read this was when Maplin was still open. That's in the UK. I read that this stuff was good for fixing stick drift 
on the Xbox. So I'm going to try it on this one here because I've never had a chance, never had a chance to use it. Now it might smell a bit, so I'm just going to open up the window. All right, let's squirt it in there and see what it does. And I just want to go in in there as well. Now I'm hoping this is similar to alcohol in that it will just evaporate off. I just like the fact that it's pressurised because it means you know it can get right in there. It smells the same as that alcohol that I normally use to clean the flux off the boards. Wipe it up around here because that's no good anyway. Yeah, it looks like it evaporates off. So basically, it's tape cleaner, you know, from years ago, cassette tapes. Let's just see. I mean, it's still soaking wet in there, but let's just see what happens now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Right, I don't know whether that's working just because it's still wet in there. Or whether when it dries it's going to stay working, but it's certainly working at the moment. Look at that. Complete control. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, I was going to keep on spraying it, but there's no point if it's doing it now. We'll let it dry and see if it keeps working. I've had that for around three years now, and I've never, I've never used it. You can see the date on it, 7th of the 5th, 15. I'm sure it was at least two years ago, maybe even three. So, uh, yeah, that's the one that I don't even know if you can still get it anymore. Tape head disk drive cleaner. I mean, I hope it's the right stuff for this sort of job. I don't, uh, I don't know. It says remove tape oxides and dirt, minimise this noise. Do not use on live electrical equipment. Right. Okay. Well, I, sp <laughs> I suppose I should have made sure that was all off. But uh, yeah, I mean, I remember reading that people use that and it was good. Uh, I mean, looking at this, it does look like it's good. Maybe I should have just made sure the switch was completely off and let it dry before I started messing around with it. But as you can see from all around the edges, it's just like evaporated off. I know I wiped it with this, but there's no residue left. So it says to me that it does, uh, that it does evaporate off. working absolutely perfectly so it looks like stiff stick drift could be an easy thing to fix I could have just been lucky on this one but it was very bad drift you've seen how it was happening and now it's working perfectly so there must have been some kind of dampness or uh, dust or dirt in there I mean I don't know what would cause what would cause that but there must have been something between the contacts and a little bit of a circuit board down the bottom that was causing it, but to me that looks like it's working perfectly now. Little bits and big movements, absolutely fine. Right, so now I have to try and get a cover back on here. Now luckily I have got a spare Joy-Con from Ages Go, a broken one. So I'm going to use the cover from that. This one here, which is perfect. So uh, I'm going to take that off and I'm going to try to get this 
onto that and then hopefully we'll have two working Joy-Cons. You can see what I'm doing to try and get it back in. So basically what I do is just focus. Okay. So I'm gonna get my tweezers and uh try to can you see there's a hole here? Well, I have to get that little uh, bit of rubber that you can see here. Can you see this bit flapping around? Get that into the hole. And then if you do it and then lift it up carefully, hopefully you should be able to just see it in the hole then. Yeah, and then you have to move on to the next one. Problem with it is, as you're working your way around, you do one, do another, do another, and then when you go to check it, they keep coming out. So uh, everyone you check, for the very process of pulling it up, it kind of knocks them out. Right, okay, I've done that one now, and that one has come out perfect. So it is a very time-consuming job, and you have to work your way around, and you might have to go around six or seven times until you get them all in. But if you look now, that's in. I'm really happy with that now. And I think after I use that for a while, I've got a feeling that sort of indentation will disappear and it will all sit nicely into place already now. It looks, uh, it looks good. So what you can do is you can check. So basically, when you think that you've got it, you then, uh, it's very hard to see because I'm not in natural daylight at the moment, but if you have a look now, what I want to do is you can just lift it up very carefully and you just need to have a little look at the little holes just to see if there's rubber in each of the ones. It's, uh, it's hard to explain what I'm doing, but basically I don't want to pull them off again, but you have, uh, I don't know if you can see that one there, you can see that there's plastic with rubber in and you can see that the rubber's filled the hole, so then I know it's all the way in. Because it would be a shame to have to get new analog sticks just for the sake of this rubber cover. I know you can buy covers anyway to put on top of them but it's still nice to have the option to have the original ones if you want that. Now I'm looking around both of them, they're all fully fully seated in, I'm definitely definitely happy with them. So uh, that's it, what a result, £34, £17 each with the straps and now they appear to be fine. So let's just have a look, see if they're... Uh, see how the charging is going on them. Yes, that's all okay. Right, so charging. Yeah, you can see fully charged and this one is nearly charged now. So it's definitely charging up okay. Let's just make sure they are syncing to another switch. So let's get another switch. So I've got my proper switch now, I'm happy to use these on here. So I don't want to plug them onto it because as soon as I plug them on they're going to sync up. I want to make sure they're syncing up wirelessly. So all we've got to do is go to controllers, change grip order and we're going to press and hold this button down. Okay so that's now paired to there. I'm going to hit SL and SR so you can see it's working now in the sideways orientation. I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. Okay, and there we go, player two and player one. So it looks like the uh, looks like the lights are working as well. Let's just do make sure player three and four lights are working. So let's just do that there. Player four, player four. Right, okay. So you can see three and four and that. Let's just make sure these other lights are working. So I'm going to turn this one off and this one off. Then turn this one back on first. This will be player two. And then we're going to turn this on, this will go to player three. No, two and two. Oh, one second, hold on. Two. So this will now be player three. So three lights are definitely working on that. And now let's go to turn this one off, this one off, and then hit this one first. So this will be player three. Do that. And now this one will go to player four. Okay, so we definitely know all those lights are working. Now let's swap these two over. 
So turn that off, that off, turn this one back on. Okay, player one, and this will be player four. Player four, and just make sure the three lights are working. So off there, off there, turn this one on, this will be player three. There we go, so it's definitely all working. Lights are working, right, let's just do, put it back onto here. Do the final test on all the buttons. Um, working fine. So I am 100% happy now that they are working as they should. So uh, yeah, what a result. And including these little straps here appear to be working okay. Let's try it on this red one here. So plus to plus, lock it in, fine, go to take it off, fine, and lock it in, take it off, fine. Okay, what a, so happy with that, and I'm so happy that I got to do the stick drift, and I'm so happy that I now know how to put these caps back on, and as you can look, they're already starting to take shape now, can you see? But they're already starting to look normal, so I reckon after a little bit more use they will look just as good as these two here. You can already see there's not really much in the difference between them. Can you see there? Yeah, you can see a few tiny little, one little bump there. And there you can see that one looks almost perfect now. So uh, yeah. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video, I really enjoyed this video because if you watched my last Joy-Con one, the one with the water damage, you've seen the amount of work that was involved in that. Didn't mind because, you know, that's how, how I learn, by getting things that are faulty and then I learn, uh, you know, I learn via that way there. But uh, it was just nice to have something that didn't take a huge amount of fixing, but yet was still faulty. I mean, this one wasn't really faulty, it was just that this had come off. But the stick drift, what a lovely fix, you know, just putting some of that in. So I did a bit of compress, it's really going to squirt it down into it. And you've seen how quick it did the job, sprayed it in there, didn't put a huge amount in and it seemed to work perfectly. I'm hoping... You know, like I said, don't copy me. I'm hoping that this doesn't cause it any damage over the next few weeks or months. Don't think it does because when I read before, people recommended this for cleaning stick drift. But, you know, it could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe to more fixing videos and also how-to videos as well. Take care. Bye now.